I think that the problem with STEM careers as not being chosen by as many people as we'd like to is the wrong impression young people have about STEM. Uh, I've heard a lot of people saying, a mathematician, oh, this, this must be such a dry person, not interested in music or poetry or art in general. These are people who only calculate, sit close in their study and prove some theorems. Very boring. And they can't imagine that most of the, the mathematicians I've, I have the honor to know are at the same time wonderful musicians or athletes. Uh, take, for example, uh, Paddy Sobeti, who is a rock star, you could find her songs on YouTube, and one of the first whose research team is fighting against Ebola, se uh, uh, literally sacrificing their life in Africa. So, nothing could be more exciting than the profession of a scientist if kids at a very early age get the proper image of it. In a school, summer school with very gifted uh, young students for math and science, we have uh, the chance of meeting and talking to Nobel Prize winners. This happens every summer now for 30 years at MIT. And one of them, Dudley Hirschbach, Nobel Prize in Chemistry, asked the students, these are high school students from all over the world, what the main difference between a scientist and a student is according to them. And his answer to that was, the only answer is how you react to a question you don't know the answer of. A new role and a very challenging role of a teacher, of a good science teacher, would be not to be prepared of using any modern technology, but be very natural when saying, I don't know the answer, but I hope to learn about it thanks to your efforts and thanks to our collaboration of working as a team. Previously, teachers were treated as reality check of great educators' ideas. Nowadays, a really good education could only happen if these teachers feel part of a research team. So asking the right questions is something the kids should learn and be supported to. Uh, somebody said, kids are entering the school like question marks and leave it as periods. Because somehow we as teachers all learn them to ask good questions. Today's teachers have learned that in order to be a good teacher, you have to learn all your life and show this process of learning in front of the kids. You shouldn't pretend that you know everything. You should uh, demonstrate to the kids what to do with when you don't know what to do. In fact, this is one of the definitions of the problem solving. Not implementing a ready formula or algorithm, but showing the debugging process. What you do when you don't know the recipe. And this is what scientists is great about. It helps even us, the Bulgarians, to get to know each other. I met a lot of teachers I knew by name only here at the conference. I saw their faces, their smiles. This makes me feel rich and richer because the teachers and through them the students are our treasures. This community is uh, alive. I think that the great role of scientists is just that, that with all the information that is floating in the internet space, with all the um, projects, STEM, even teaching STEM projects that are in the space, how do we help teachers to make the right for them choice. There is not universal right thing. How do we uh, recommend something that we hope to, to assist to their teaching process? Even more so, not only to make them uh, consuming something that has been done by every, uh, somebody else, but to, be, to feel co-authors of these projects. How? By trying out the ideas of scientists, but also check what works in their setting and how to modify it when they are given so as to help many other colleagues.